Good morning students. Today we are going to do chapter 10 Louis Pasteur. Dear students, I'm sure you all have heard this word pandemic. Pandemic is a worldwide spread of a new disease. And as we all are aware that on March 11, the World Health Organization officially declared the COVID-19 outbreak a pandemic due to the global spread and severity of the disease. Moreover, we all are waiting for the vaccine to come in that will protect everyone from this deadly virus. We are going to learn the vaccines Pasteur developed and have protected millions of people. So as we read this chapter, we will come to know more about his work and his interest in the field of microbiology. There are a few men in the world who have saved more lives than Louis Pasteur. The vaccines he developed have protected millions of people. He was a chemist by profession who protected the world of biology in a new light. He is now regarded as the forerunner in the field of microbiology. Children, as we are getting to hear this world vaccine we must understand what this word vaccine means it is a substance that is put into the blood that protects the body from a disease and as he worked in the field of microbiology which is the scientific study of very small living things such as bacteria, he happened to go deep into each aspect to finally develop a vaccine. Let us know more about his life. He was born on 27 December 1822 to a Catholic family and was the third child of Jean Joseph Pasteur and Jean Etienne Ruki. His father was a tanner, that is, a person whose job is to process animal skins to make leather. His father, who was a tanner, served as a surgeon major in the Napoleonic Wars. As a child, he had a passion for drawing and painting. His art depicted a keen eye for precision and detail. Though his teachers encouraged his art, his father considered painting an indulgence and pushed him to study hard. He was encouraged by his father. Young Louis burned the night lamp as he prepared for the Ecole Normale Superior, which was a famous teacher's college in Paris. He received his master's degree in 1845 and his doctorate in 1847. And after his doctorate, Pasteur worked as a laboratory assistant 
in his college where he continued working on the research that he had begun for his doctoral thesis on three dimensional characteristics of molecules during this time he also secured his academic credentials with several scientific papers in his field these credentials here mean the qualities training or experience that make you suitable to do something thereafter he began his career at the faculty of sciences in the university of strasbourg in 1848 it was here that he launched his studies in fermentation and in 1854 he moved to lille university as a dean pasteur joined the ecole normale superieure in 1857 and he introduced a series to reforms to improve the standard of research pasteur was appointed professor of geology physics and chemistry in 1862 and he went on to establish the pasteur institute in 1887 so dear students we must know about his achievements that he made in his life pasteur's training in chemistry helped him solve a major issue in 19th century biology for several thousand years people were of the opinion that life appeared spontaneously as in trees grew from dust and maggots from dead flesh pasteur proved that food could be spoiled because of contamination with microbes in the air and these microbes were at the root of disease in your subject of biology i'm sure you all have learned what contamination means contamination is making something polluted by adding a substance that carries disease and as you have already studied more about this in your subject of biology you will understand the major developments that were made by louis pasteur though controversial his germ theory led to the development of antiseptics and set a milestone in the healthcare sector there was a controversy meaning that there was a lot of angry public discussions and disagreement to what his germ theory led to the various developments after the success met with the germ theory pasteur was approached by napoleon tree for a solution to the problem faced by the wine industry of France for a major chunk of the 19th century the quality of french wine was poor often there were complaints of the wine becoming sour bitter or flavorless the news of these diseases spread throughout europe thereby hampering wine export in france French wine was famous all over the world yet it was rather difficult to sell abroad Pasteur was aware of the problems of conserving wine during his work on fermentation and he quickly set about the task Pasteur inspected the wine samples from different parts of France he arrived at the alarming conclusion that almost every winery in France had suffered great alteration Pasteur realized that this was due to contamination and after several experiments he suggested that the wine should be heated to 55 degrees celsius to kill bacteria without affecting the taste this process is named pasteurization after louis pasteur so children you must understand here what pasteurization means 
It was widely used to keep food safe from diseases. Pasture also played a major role in saving the silk industry of France from a mysterious silkworm disease. He devoted six years to the study of parasites and worked out the importance of isolation to stop the spread of infection. He continued to work in order to develop the vaccine. Pasteur injected an old culture of bacteria into his chickens. While the birds fell ill, they did not succumb to the disease as expected. Succumb here means not able to fight an attack or an illness. They developed resistance to fresh cholera injections. Pasteur surmised that weakened strains of a disease could make animals immune. Surmised here means something using as an evidence without definitely knowing which could make animals immune. That is, the animals could, cannot catch or be affected by a particular disease or illness. Similar to Edward Jenner's success in using cowpox strains to prevent smallpox, Pasteur was successful in creating vaccines for the dreaded cholera disease. Keen to work on the development of more vaccines, Pasteur turned his attention to anthrax, a fatal disease that could wipe out an entire population of farm animals. Robert Koch, a German doctor, had already located the disease causing bacteria. Pasteur used this information to develop a vaccine and successfully immunized 31 animals. Along with all these achievements and the continuous hard work that Pasteur did, there was another breakthrough in his career, which was in the treatment of rabies. Rabies is a fatal disease that affects the brain and leads to painful death. Pasteur had conducted successful experiments in dogs, but he was apprehensive to try experiments on humans. He was apprehensive means he was worried that something unpleasant may happen. So the moment came when a young boy, Joseph Mestor, was bitten by a rabid animal. Pasteur went ahead and tried his vaccine in order to save the boy's life. And... Fortunately, Joseph Mester survived. So dear students, we are going to continue with this chapter 10 of Louis Pasteur in the next learning class and the video will be posted for that. Thank you.